all, so with all my taking of <coughs> pictures in the community on the campus, I do consider this a picture perfect community photography. And um, I have 18 of my photos enlarged and mounted as part of the permanent collection over in the assisted living area. And I like wildlife photography and just, just pictures of the campus in different seasons of the year. Lots to do. I mean, there's never a time when we uh, just to sit around wondering what we're going to do next. Usually <laughs> we have to make choices. <laughs> I think one of the things that, that I, I thought when we first moved in here, we had a lot of friends in, in, in Silver Spring and, and uh, in Washington, and uh, that uh, we probably, you know, would be seeing our old friends all the time. In point of fact, our friends are the people now who we have known since we've been here. These people have become our really close friends. Now, that doesn't mean we don't see our other friends still, but not nearly as often. The people here have, have uh, been very supportive and we're, we're really a family. Uh, we're supportive of one another. We hadn't really considered a retirement community, but when you hear that something is planned and that there's a rapidly growing waiting list, we looked into it seriously. Sort of a market study of all the retirement communities in the area to see whether this was something that we really wanted to do. And if so, if this was the right place, or if there was something more appropriate for us. And the market study told us, yes, indeed, this was what we wanted for our old age and life care. And <laughs> this particular location and campus were ideal for us. We loved being close to the park and close to downtown Washington. And. Uh, it turned out that, that by far the, the most important thing for us was the community itself, the people who moved in. We have a, just an unbelievably diverse and intelligent community that, uh, that feels like a, a greater family. We have a, a lot of committees, uh, but 20... I think it's 19 at this 19 point. 19 committees. <laughs> and uh, some of them are activities oriented, and others are related to the departments of the administration. And new people who move in here uh, are assimilated remarkably uh, rapidly. And that's, I think, unusual also. Uh, I, we have a hospitality committee that makes sure that, that Every new resident has a, a, a move-in buddy assigned. I know that some people feel that, that as long as they live in their own home, they have their independence. But the reality is there comes to a point in the continuum of living in your own home where you don't own it as much as it owns you. Particularly, the, the, the advice I would give is, is for people not to wait too long to, to, to come in. Come into the community when you're able to do things, when you're healthy and, and feel good and want to get involved. Uh, Something we, comes to mind just immediately. We have done a lot of cruising. Bob has been chaplain on cruise ships for several companies. And we love cruising. We love all the amenities on the ship and we love the different ports of call. And I've told people that living in the retirement community is very similar to a, a cruise ship. <laughs> the, the good news is you have all the amenities, the bad news is it's the same port every day. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it, uh, that is, is a real advantage of a continuing care community uh, because we're all here in the one place. Uh, we have residents who, who uh, as Jane says, uh, one uh, uh, member of the, of the, the couple is, uh, is over in assisted living and the other one is in the apartments. Uh, but it's not far for them to get together each day and, and uh, they can be together for dinner at night. Uh, it's, it's just really almost too good to be true. So it, 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 it's, a, it's a particularly uh, uh, happy community to, to live in. And uh, as I say, this is the only place that I would want to be at this point in my life.